Right, so we talk about a lot of important stuff here on this channel, right? We talk about guitar, metal, and that's all well and good. But you know, I think it's about time we got a bit more serious and started talking about real hard-hitting issues. And that's precisely why the topic of today's video is... Hot Metal Boys! That's right folks, I've taken the liberty of scouring the internet and probably doing some irreparable damage to my search history to find the 20 individuals who are believed to be the hottest metal boys on the planet. So today we will be looking at these hot metal boys and ranking them, talking about them and probably getting all hot and flustered and taking our clothes off. But before Jollity's commence, we shall be talking about the kind and benevolent sponsor of today's video. And I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna like this one. Head Game Maker Crayplay invites you to play Hyper Fever. Critics call it the most mobile of all mobile games. Build a unique character from our preset warlords as you engage in casual hardcore battle royale. Go multiplayer. Oh wait, hang on. I'm getting word that I played the wrong ad. Today's video is in fact sponsored by the one and only Raid Shadow Legends. That's right, Raid Shadow Legends, the infamous mobile RPG game that needs no introduction. With a flourishing community of over 20 million players, Raid Shadow Legends is showing no signs of letting up or slowing down. It currently features over 700 unique champions with millions of possible build combinations and customization options. So no matter what kind of RPG hero you like to play, you know there's going to be something suitable for you. As well as 12 campaign stages and a whole host of dungeons to sink your teeth into, Raid are also proud to announce the long-awaited edition of Live Arena PvP. You can now test your champions out against other players in heated combat and win a whole host of sick rewards. So if you haven't yet tried the sensation that is Raid Shadow Legends, then what you, then what are you bloody waiting for? New players can use my link in the description or scan the QR code to get a free starter pack with all of this insane in-game loot. Thanks guys and happy raiding. And now on with the video. All right, here we are. Uh, the start of my bravest video ever. First off, we have uh, Dave Mustaine. Uh, actually, we have a problem already because a lot of the guys in this list are quite old. So do we judge them based on what they look like now? Or what they used to look like? And you know, and there's some younger guys in this list too, so maybe it wouldn't be fair to, um... Wait, is there? I feel like everyone on this list is kind of old. This is such a fucking millennial list. <laughs> to our uh, younger viewers, I'm, I'm very sorry. So if we're talking about young Dave Mustaine, you know, the, the most legendary hair in the business. A nice face, but you know, it's got that sort of like... Fucking saggy, wet lip, uh, which I'm not really a fan of. I feel like he sits somewhere between handsome lads and marriage material. But uh, fuck it, if we're talking about Prime, Dave Mustaine, then, then yeah, why not? Marriage material, straight in there, straight in there. Well, we're, uh, we're already uh, married, so uh, there's not much point carrying on, really, is there? I mean, let's pretend we live in one of those countries where you can have, like, ten wives. Uh, does that also apply to husbands? Can you have ten husbands, too? Um, next off is the Gojira man. I can't remember which one is that. What's his name? Is it Mario? Do... No, that's not him. Is it Joel? Joe? Um, Joe Duplantier. You know, I'd say he's definitely, definitely handsome, but, uh, I don't know, that beard doesn't do him any favours. It looks a bit too, like, European. I don't know, look at those cheekbones. Got very, very good cheekbones. Good cheekbones. Pretty, you know, alright. Alright hair. Strong grimacing look. Not a fan of the beard, though. You know what, we're just gonna, we're gonna go for handsome. Handsome lad. Next up, uh, Varg Vickinus, uh, Burzum Man. A lot of, like, uh, you know, black metal and goth girls, like, thirst after Varg, you know, especially... Uh, well, actually, maybe not just especially young Varg, maybe old Varg, too. I'm gonna try, I'm trying to think about this as objectively as possible. He sort of went from, like, you know, cute 90s heartthrob to a weathered, unhinged, uh, European wizard. He's still got a, still got a strong look about him. You know, he's aged quite well. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for marriage material. I think he's a, I think he's, he's a, he's a good one. <laughs> Alexi Leo, Children of Bodom. You know, when he was younger, he was definitely, um, you know, very sort of like, you know, like a pretty boy. Um, but when he was older, I don't know, he started looking really like emaciated. I, I guess he was quite sick, right? So it's not his fault. He was also very short. 
You know, I guess the you know short short guys are in a quiet taste, aren't they? You know, it's not for everyone. He's a strong average to a light, handsome lad. I'm gonna leave him as a strong average for now, but it may change. All right, it may change. All right, next up, uh, who's that? Oh, it's the battery guy. What's his name? Uh, Corn, Cornborn, Cornborn, Corn. No, it's not Cornborn. What's his name? Battery man. <laughs> I can't remember his name. All right, it was Quarthorn. Close enough. Even looking at the photos when he was younger, he looked a bit creepy. And like, uh, when he was older... I don't know, didn't he die quite young? So, you can't be that old in this photo. Some people age really quickly. You know, they have their short little, like, uh, period where they, you know, they're very handsome. But then, you know, you just wake up one morning and like, Oh, no, I'm old! I'm old and haggard now. My youthful looks, they have dissipated. You know, this is why you should never date someone on looks alone, you know, because they can go at any moment. You could, you, you don't know. It doesn't last forever. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do a uh, turn the lights off on this one. Not feeling it. Not feeling it at all. Chuck Shouldernut up next. Here we go. There's not too many photos of him, really, was there? Um, he's widely admired, and I think a lot of people find him very attractive, but you know, I don't- I don't see it personally. To me, he looks a bit like greasy. Yeah, a bit greasy and like tired, but he's not ugly. It's for sure, he's not ugly. Oh, look at that, he's, you know, a bit- bit sweaty there, you know, he's got a- he's got a bit of a- bit of a body on him. Ah, uh, but he look, does look good on stage. You know, what, I'm gonna make a new category, uh, called photogenic. So, some people are just really, really photogenic, you know, they look amazing on camera. Uh, but then, you know, when you see me in real life, it's like, oh. Oh, it was mildly disappointing experience. And you're not necessarily, like, you know, super good looking. You're just, like, photogenic. The camera loves you, darling! Um, and I think that's definitely the case with, uh, with old Chuck. I don't know where to place this, uh... So, yeah, it's somewhere... I was right rank on the same level as average. Right, moving swiftly on! Um, I don't remember this guy's name, but he actually pops up on a lot of lists. The singer of the band, Turi Sass. Uh, Turi Sass singer. Younger viewers on this channel probably won't remember this band. They were like, uh... A folk metal band that were really, really big uh, for uh, quite a while, like in the late 2000s, I think. Yeah, this band were like huge, like, on the verge of breaking out, and then they just sort of like disappeared. I, I don't know what happened to them. But, but apparently, this is a, a very handsome man, Matthias Nygut. I don't know, you say that. Nygut? Not good. Matthias, not good! So it's kind of hard to tell because, like, he has, he has the paint on a lot. But to be honest, even with the paint on, he looks. It's good, like, well, well defined, strong face. They're uh, wearing a nice scarf. In this photo, good fashion sense, always good to see. He goes from like looking like a uh, very good looking to um, you know, questionable. I think this could be like a photogenic man, like there. You know, looks very, very handsome in that photo. Yeah, but here not so much, and like here, you know, looks a bit sort of like where, where are your eyebrows, man? What happened? Photogenic, I think. Very, very, very photogenic man. Uh, but I reckon in person, probably uh, you know, in, you know, above average, but like not, not like. Whoa! Not marriage material. Um, yeah, so probably more photogenic than Chuck, though. Oh, <laughs> Sebastian Bach. I, I hate this guy, so uh, I chose like <laughs> a really unflattering photo. Not to be confused with uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. Um, musical visionary, uh, virtuoso organ player, and um, world-class counterpoint composer. No, I'll give it to him. He was a he was a very good-looking lad back in the day. Like uh, some perfectly quaffed. Sideways hair going on. That's good. We always like to see that. Maybe that's the secret to, to looking good. Maybe I should start doing that. You know, I'll just go for a boring middle parting. All right, there we go. I'm, I'll do the rest of the video like this. Okay, cool. So how do, how do we rank Sebastian? Because obviously these days, uh, this is a severe case of turn the lights off, but... So where do we put that? <gasps> Ugh. Oh, it's got like a bit of toothpaste come up. I feel like we need a new row. It's, we're getting a new row. Let's say hot, but... Not age good well. He's going there. Daniel, uh, what's his name? Uh, Erlinson. I think he's a drummer from Arch Enemy, yeah? Yeah. Well, let's see. So he's got, that, he's got that sort of like, um, dark, goth look. Bit miserable looking. But, you know, I can definitely see the appeal. Age fairly well, but I don't know, he has like a, kind of like an underwhelming face. He looks a bit like, um, you know, Joey Jordison, but without like the huge forehead. I'm gonna put average on this one. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's an average. Average. Uh, I can't remember who this next guy is, but he appeared on loads of lists. Right, Math Matthias Lilmans. Yeah, he got a very like, um, you know, strong, 
strong face, striking features. Yeah, he looks he looks uh, super different in uh, all these photos. It's kind of hard to tell. Very, very hot metal boy. Oh, I think this is a strong, handsome lad to uh, light marriage material. You know, he doesn't really have his own sort of thing going on. He's got a generic look, but he does it well, or really well. I'm going to go with a very strong, handsome lad there. There we go. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get a bit oh, hot and flustered looking at, looking at all these hot metal boys. Right, next up, we've got uh, Bruce Dickinson. Right, good old Brucey Bruce. He's aged pretty well, I say. He's he's, he's looking all right for his age. So he's not a uh, hot, but not age good well. He was very handsome when he was young. Got a good face, but that hair, man. I, I can, I've never been able to get behind that sort of like uh, long hair, but with like a... So I think that's really holding him back, unfortunately. Very British sort of like buck teeth going on. Oh, Bruce Dickinson, off from England. Well, I think we're going for a, a light, handsome lad. Right. James Hetfield up next. This is going to be uh, a niche one, I think. I could see the appeal, but I think this is like very, uh, very niche. And we're going to add like a, a daddy issues row. Yes, if you have daddy issues. Yeah, if you, if you like your men sort of like looking very fatherly and rugged and like sort of non-conventionally attractive, then yeah, I think this is uh, definitely right in there. Moving on, the Sabaton bloke. Sabaton, uh, Joquim, Joachim. Uh, I think this might be another James Hetfield, like, uh, daddy issues one. He's definitely a non-conventionally attractive person. Um, yeah, that, that beard is, a. Uh not good, in my opinion. The beard makes his head look kind of squashed. Looks all right there without glasses. Uh, maybe it's just the glasses that make his head look squashed. It's just the glasses because they come so close down to the beard. And it just doesn't look right. It makes his head look really sort of like... Sabaton. I feel like the same sort of people who would like James Hetfield older. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's a difficult one. Yeah, I'm just going to leave him there. Joey Jordison. Right. Yeah, all the girls love Joey Jordison. And I can never understand why because that guy had... Um, forehead the size of a freaking uh, like dinner tray, like a dinner tray forehead. Like, and he just doesn't have any eyebrows either. That more sort of like androgynous goth look was like quite big back then, so maybe that's why. I mean, I'm sorry, but to me, it's a uh, it's a uh, turn off the lights. Uh, now we have who was this again? He was number one on some like list that I found. Uh, I I thought it, I don't know whether it was like a wind up or what. The Halloween singer Michael Kisk. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't see it. I'm sorry. I don't see it. Maybe this is like a like a, a niche thing. He just has a very sort of like um, a weak boyish face. A good chin. I give him that. Very good chin. And these days he just looks uh, way too sort of like pub singer. You know. So yeah, I'm sorry. I don't see this one. This is another uh, turn off the lights. And now uh, Mike Smith of Suffocation. I feel like Mike Smith is like a really, really generic name, especially in England. So probably need to be a bit more specific. And I realized when I saw him on the list, I was like, oh yeah, these lists have been like overwhelmingly white. I know metal is a very, very white genre, but you know, it could have been nice to see some more representation on these lists, you know? Um, oh, I remember this guy off like the Roadrunner United uh, thing they did all those years ago. Probably has some of the coolest hair out of anyone in the list so far. Very strong, handsome face, great dreadlocks. Not too many photos, but seems like he's uh, in good physical shape. Very nice. Um, let's go with, he's a light, handsome lad to a strong average. We're gonna go with light, handsome lad on this one. There we go. Peter Steele, next. The millennial goth girl with daddy issues. Favorite choice pick. This is a tricky one because like in some photos, you know, he looks, you know, very, very good. Like a super strong face, like uh, strong features. But in other pics, I don't know, he just like uh, doesn't look good at all. Looks like his face is like put on backwards or something. It just looks a bit sort of like, a bit like Neanderthal. But very, very good hair, you know, strong, dark features. You know, big physique, you know, a lot of people like that. So I'm really quite split on this one because he belongs in uh, quite a few categories. But you know what? I'm going to try and remove some of my personal opinion from here. Think objectively about it. And I know lots of people get uh, very, very moist for this uh, this man. So I'm, you know, I'm going to put him in light marriage material. Oh God, I've just realized that I have like Dave Mustaine. It's like the number one pick. You know, I, I'm not sure about that. Next up we have, who's that? Oh, Nurgle. There we go. They recognize him without the makeup there. He has that sort of like hipster dad thing going on, which um, I would imagine a lot of people are really into. He doesn't look like a sort of conventional, like hot metal guy, 
But, you know, I, I, he definitely has, uh, you know, his thing going on. So I feel like for the, the people out there that don't really like conventional looking metal guys, you know, this, he's probably like up there with uh, one of the, the most popular picks. Light marriage material. So I'm trying to cover as much ground as possible in the marriage material camp. I think we've got quite a nice sort of diverse array of... Um, Specimens going on. So yeah, I'm quite happy with uh, putting him there. And last but not least, we have uh, Nick Menza, ex Megadeth drummer. God rest his soul. So you know what? I'm gonna put him up up with the handsome lads. Um, maybe I'm gonna put him at the top. I'm gonna put him at the top of the handsome lads. There we go. Just just in front of the fin troll guy. Just. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys, on this uh, truly. Uh, important um, occasion. And what do you think about my picks? Would you change any of them? Are there any glaring omissions uh, that you would add into this list? And as always, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. Drop the video a like and a comment, and I shall see you very soon.